Time now 947, Chief Scientist Carl Nelson is down at the Imagination Station with this week's Imagine It. Good morning once again. I'm meteorologist Jay Bershback along with Carl Nelson. We're at the Imagination Station. This is my department here. It is. Cloud science. Exactly. So explain how a cloud is made, Carl, and uh, what we're going to be doing today. Well, you know you need three things for a cloud. You need particulate matter. That's just dust in the air. You need water vapor. And I've got some water, some warm water in the bottom of this five-gallon jug. And you need a change in temperature or pressure. So we're going to have some fun with liquid nitrogen. This Very cool. My favorite thing here. This is going to be our change in temperature. So Jay, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to take this liquid nitrogen, 320 degrees below zero. The water okay. is about 100 degrees, 400 degree temperature difference. You are going to pour this very carefully into the jug. Okay. And we'll just see what happens here. Hmm. So we'll make a cloud. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pour it all right in. And if I give this a little shake, check that out. That is neat. So what, what exactly is coming out? This is not smoke. It's not smoke. This is it's actually small particles of water vapor that have condensed okay. to make little droplets of fog. Neat. It's not, it looks like steam, but it's not steam. It's, um, it's actually a way you can make what is like a cloud. Sure. Now, it is, yeah. This is cool, right? I mean, that was impressive. That was cool. 10 feet in the air, whatever. I think we should up this a bit. Instead of using just one cup of liquid nitrogen, let's use something like 20 or 30 liters. All right, let's do it. it. Make it super size. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Okay, Carl, we are supersized, ready to go. Obviously, uh, we've changed uh, clothing here, extra layer to keep us warm. Um, but in, can you explain what's in this huge jug here? Inside this jug, it's called a Dewar, storage Dewar. It's got liquid nitrogen in it. 320 okay. degrees below zero, about 20 liters. We're gonna empty the whole thing into these two nested garbage cans. So okay. This is heavy, so I need your help. All right, so here we go. Up, and we're just gonna pour the nitrogen in. Perfect. All right. So we are set with our nitrogen. And in that, that to canister there is hot water. We have a little bit of hot water. Okay. Steaming hot water. So probably about a 500 temperature difference between the hot water and the liquid nitrogen. All right. And so I'm gonna put on some extra gear here to protect myself. You'll be doing the honors. Three, three, two, one. That is quite a reaction, Carl. I did not expect, <laughs> you didn't expect a the cannon cloud, of right? water. No, I thought it'd be more of a gentle uh, reaction like this, but it's that temperature difference. Exactly. Uh, the hot water actually making contact with that liquid nitrogen that created that explosiveness of the reaction. 500 degree temperature difference, it's just crazy. And you get that shower, that explosion, and the, the big cloud that filled up the whole space. That's amazing. Yeah. Quite an example of how clouds are made in nature, but man, with all of our technology and, and fancy stuff, we can make clouds too. You can have fun with it as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Carl, thank you so much. Sure. For Carl Nelson, I'm meteorologist Jay Bershback, and that was Imagine It.